This is an example of deflections of a cantilever subjected to a uniformly distributed load of W and we're given the loading function with, uh, as a function of Z to equal to W. Okay. Now, quickly boundary conditions at X equals 0, which is this point here. We know that deflect since it's a cantilever and it's a fixed support, the slope of deflection dv dx equals to 0 and the deflection is self equal to 0. On, at x equals L, which is the hanging edge, as we saw in the previous video, um, it was established that the shear force can equal to, to zero. So d cubed v dx cubed equals to zero. And this is a capital, capital V. Okay, and this is not a capital, but it looks like a capital. This is deflection, this is shear. Alright, so the first thing we have to know is that the loading function is equal to W over here. Now, how do we get the deflections from um, from a loading function we have to integrate it four times so using the governing equation of deflections so EI dv4 dx4 equals to W this is the loading function since we have to integrate it four times this is to the power of 4 okay so integrating once we get EI dv cubed dx cubed equals to WX plus A remember it's with respect to X this time Integrating again, we find that EI dv squared dx squared equals wx squared on 2 plus ax plus b. Integrating one more time to get the slope of deflection, we find that EI dv dx is the following equation, and now we have an